welcome to the second tutorial on Android development. Here I will tell you how to add more vertices so you can build a square and then I'll be showing you how we can make use of index buffering to make it so we don't have any repeated vertices. Let's get started. So to start off with what we need to do, or what we're going to do, is just turn that triangle into a square by adding uh, extra vertices and then telling OpenGL to um, render those extra vertices. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that this has a comma after it. And then we're going to select these two vertices because these are going to be repeated. We're going to copy them, we're going to paste, and then in between them, we're going to put a new vertice. I'm going to put 1.0f, uh, 0.0f, and 0.0f. And that should be our second triangle. And the only thing, other thing that we need to do for this bit is change this number in our draw arrays um, to a 6. Just to equate for the 6 vertices that we now have. Because we already have a, you know, it's already saying that it's going to be taking and rendering uh, every three every three vertices. So now that we have six, it will do, you know, two triangles. So let's have a look at that. As you can see, we no longer have a triangle in the top right hand corner of our screen. We now have a rectangle. And later on, we will uh, see how to actually make that a square, so it's not just going off the resolution of the screen. But first, let's look at um, index buffering to make it so we don't need so many vertices to build this square. So the first thing that we're going to need to do to uh, make use of index buffering is we're going to have to create a new function in our render class um, which is going to generate our byte buffer so let's just go ahead and do that it's going to be very similar to our float buffer so we're just going to just going to copy that and paste and then we're just going to adapt it so we so it's creating a byte buffer rather than a float buffer We need to change our float buffer to a byte buffer. And then we need to change how it's allocated. We don't need the times four anymore, we just need its length. And we don't need to make it uh, make it a float. So if we just get rid of the end bit. Then we just want to turn this to our byte buff. Oh, we want to change our array to a byte as well. And then all we've got to do left, left to do, sorry, is um, return our byte buff. Okay, so now that we have that. We need to go all the way back up to the top of our render class and we need to create a, a byte buffer. So let's just do that. Going to call it index buffer. And the next thing, we're going to have to delete all repeated vertices um, in our in our float in our float array. So we want to get rid of the second 1.0f, 1.0f, 0.0f. 
and the second 0.0f, 0.0f, 0.0f. And that will leave us with the uh, vertices that will create our that will be needed to create our square, well, rectangle. Now we just need to make it so our index buffer is generated. Sorry, before we do that, we need to uh, create a array of bytes which will specify the order in which to um, roll up. Yeah, it will specify the order in which the vertices need to be rendered. So we want the first triangle to be composed of the uh, vertex at position 0, 1, and 2, and then the second one to be at 1, 2, and 3. Now we just pass that index into our make byte buffer. And then we need to change how it is drawn. So to start off with, we need to first clear our uh, color buffer bit. So let's just do that. And the only other thing that we need to change is how we draw. We don't want to draw it by an array, we want to draw it by elements. So we want it still to be triangles. Want our count to be six. Want our um, type to be an unsigned byte. And we want it to use our index buffer. And that should be our rectangle drawn using um, index buffering. So now we know how to use index buffering. Uh, the next tutorial is going to be on going slightly backwards um, but in a different direction um, because we're going to be looking at our screen coordinate systems. So see you next time.